Simon says, clap your hands. Simon says, show me your best dance move. Simon says, stop, clap your hands. Wait, wait, wait. Who the heck is this Simon guy and why do we keep doing what he says? Hey Nate. Hey, how's it going Brian? Great, thanks. So do you remember last week when we made a Simon Says game, but we wanted to make it a little bit more like the real thing? Yeah. Well this week we're gonna do just that. Yeah, so last week when we made our Simon Says program, we used functions to dictate what the commands are gonna be, but we always had to use a speak block to say Simon Says before each command. Well, I think what we can use is a variable to kind of randomize whether or not Simon is saying it before each function. So to do that, we'll start with the same program you made last week, and hopefully you created some fun actions that you and your friends can do while playing Simon Says. Absolutely. In order to make this game and program act randomly, we need to use variables and an if-else block with conditionals. So let's pull those into our program in Canvas. In the variable called random Simon, we'll pull in the random integer number operator to set that variable value. This means that each time a function is called in your program, the variable random Simon will get a random value between one and three. Then if we use an if-else block with a conditional to state whether or not Simon says will be said before the call to action. if statement, we also have an or comparator block being used. And that says if the number is one or two, then Simon says else or otherwise, just speak the command. That's really cool. I think that's gonna make this game a lot more fun and unpredictable. Let's give it a shot. Let's do it. All right, so start program. Let's play Simon Says. Let's do it. Simon Says, clap your hands. Simon Says, spin around. Simon Says, jump up and down. Simon Says, clap your hands. Simon Says, spin around. Simon Says, jump up and down. Spin around. Oh, oh my. <laughs> We're both out. Simon didn't okay. say. So that was awesome. Yeah. Uh, do you know what would make it even more cool? What? Well, if you randomize the order of the actions. Oh, nice. But you're going to have to check out uh, the activity in the Sphero EDU app for this week's added challenge. That's going to be awesome. And while you're there, be sure to check out all of the activities for Thursday Learn Day and their programs. And join us next time for Thursday Learn Day. <laughs>